You're watching Just the News. I'm Amitabh Balachandra. Now, before we go into our top story, a trigger warning for people who are watching right now. The first story is extremely disturbing. The Karnataka police have filed a fresh case against Lingayat Sia Shivamurti Muruga Sharanadu after a 12 year old girl filed a complaint alleging that she was sexually assaulted by him. Now, according to the News Minute, in her complaint, the girl alleged that two other girls were also sexually assaulted by the Sia. Now, Scroll has reported that parents of two other girls aged 12 and 14 years later approached uh, an NGO alleging that their daughters were assaulted repeatedly during the coronavirus-induced lockdown in 2020. Now, two minor girls earlier who were residing in the residential quarters of the Mutt had accused him of sexual assault post that um, he was arrested and is currently under judicial custody till the 21st of October. Now, apart from the Protection of Children from Sexual Offences Act, he was also charged under the SCST Act as one of the survivors is from a Dalit community. Moving on from the story now on to the city of Mumbai. The Mumbai police have announced that it will now be compulsory for every passenger in the car to wear a car a seat belt. Uh, from the 1st of November. Now, defaulters will be charged as under Section 194B1 of the Motor Vehicles Amendment Act 2019. Now, it states that defaulters can be punished or fined. Uh, it also makes it compulsory to secure a child less than 14 years of age with a safety belt. Now, according to the NCRB, around 1.5 lakh people die every year on India's roads. In fact, this Decision also comes after Cyrus Mystery and his co-passenger passed away in a car accident earlier. In fact, a police investigation showed later that uh, Mystery and uh, his co-passenger were in the back seat of the car and were not wearing seat belts. Moving on to Uttarakhand now, the Uttarakhand police have booked uh, 12 UP cops after Uttarakhand BJP leader. Gurtaj Singh's wife was shot dead in a cross firing that happened uh, during a raid. Now, this took place when the cops were chasing a wanted criminal on Wednesday. Six UP police personnel were also injured. Now, the police team had gone to the district to arrest a criminal uh, with a 50,000 rupee bounty on his head. Moradabad Deputy Inspector General of Police had said then that locals of uh, the Bharatpur village Gerhaud, the uh, police officers, and snatched their weapons. Both sides then resorted to firing and the woman was killed. Now, 12 cops have been booked under section of murder, rioting, uh, rioting while armed with deadly weapons, unlawful assembly, guilty of offence committed in prosecution of common object, house trespass for causing hurt to someone, among others. Also in the news, Deira Sacha Sauda uh, Chief uh, Gurmeet Ram Rahim Singh, who is serving a jail term after being convicted in uh, rape and murder cases, has been granted parole for 40 days. Now, this comes ahead of the Adampur Bai poll on November 3rd and Haryana Panchayat elections on the 12th of November. Now, Singh and four others are serving life imprisonment for the murder of a former manager of the sect. He was uh, sentenced by Special Central Bureau of Investigation Court in Haryana's Panchkula town in October. Now, he's also lodged at um, Rotak's Sonaria Jail um, and he's uh, serving a 20-year term in prison for raping, allegedly, two of his followers. Meanwhile, the ED has conducted raids in over 25 locations in Delhi as part of their money laundering uh, investigation into the alleged irregularities of the now withdrawn excise policy. Now, Delhi LG earlier had uh, alleged irregularities in the excise policy, which has now been scrapped by the ARP led Delhi government. This is the fourth round of raids by the central agency in the case since uh, uh, September 6th. Last, the Enforcement Directorate had conducted raids in at least 35 locations in Delhi, Punjab and Hyderabad.
Moving on now, the uh, External Affairs Minister S. Jai Shankar has expressed his condolences of the death of 66 children in Gambia. Now, these uh, deaths have been linked to cough syrups uh, produced by an Indian company. Last week, if you remember, the, the WHO had flagged four cow, uh, cough syrups manufactured in India of the death of these children. In fact, Mr. Jai Shankar tweeted, and I quote, in a telecon with Gambian FM, conveyed our deepest condolences on the deaths of the young children. Underline that matter be, is being seriously investigated by appropriate authorities. We agreed to remain in touch. End quote. Now, yesterday, uh, PTI quoting sources had said that the center set up a four member panel to probe the matter. Also, uh, the Defence Ministry has announced that India's strategic strike submarine INS Arihant has carried out a successful launch of a ballistic missile. In a statement, the Ministry has said, and I quote, The successful user training launch of the SLBM, which is submarine-launched ballistic missile by INS Arihant, is significant to prove uh, crew competency and validate the SSPN program, a key element of India's nuclear deterrence capability. End quote. Also, the uh, EC has announced that the 68-seat Himachal Pradesh Assembly uh, will be held, uh, the elections will be held in a single phase on the 12th of November. The dates for Gujarat elections, however, are yet to be announced. The result for uh, the Himachal Pradesh ele elections will be uh, announced on December 8th. Moving on to business news right now, India's wholesale inflation uh, rate has declined to 10.7% in September from 12.41% in August. It's remained in double digits since April. Uh, last year. Now, the wholesale price index measures overall change in producer prices uh, over time. It's a measure of inflation based on the prices of goods before they reach consumers. Now, the Ministry of Commerce and Industry has said, and I quote, inflation in September is primarily contributed by rising prices of min mineral oils, food articles, crude petroleum and uh, natural gas, chemicals and chemical products, basic metals, uh, etc. as compared to the corresponding month of the previous year, end quote. And news coming in from across the globe right now with a focus on uh, what's happening in Iran. Protests in Iran have intensified following the death of 22-year-old um, Masa Amini after she was arrested by the morality police for an alleged breach of the strict dress code for women. Now, according to human rights groups, at least 201 people have died in the protests. AFP has reported that gunshots were fired in several cities uh, of Iran on Wednesday as protests intensified. Now, Iran's president on Thursday also accused the United States of seeking to destabilize the Islamic Republic. And before we wrap things up here on this bulletin, one piece of good news. According to the Times of India, 14 people with disabilities have cleared the Odisha Civil Services 2020. Now, the examinees included five visually impaired, three orthopedic handicapped, four hearing impaired, and two with mental illness. Now, the party Raj, who stood 10th in the exam and is 40% visually impaired, was selected in the under unreserved category. Uh, two of them are 100% visually impaired. Prachurya Pradhan and Prasanna Kumar Panda, both of them have made it. In fact, uh, Prachurya Pradhan's rank was 292 and Prasanna Kumar Panda's rank was 266. That brings us to the end of this bulletin. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.